Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back. I haven't done a nerf review in quite a while, so I've got a nerf blaster. They're not nerf guns. They're nerf blasters. So <laughs> this just funny funny side story. Uh, VidCon 2017, it was June of 2017, uh, Hasbro had a booth set up where they were doing auditions. So like if you wanted to like a whole room, you go in there and there's two people with like a laptop and a camera and a bunch of toys, and you could pick the toy and you do an audition. And so I picked the largest nerf blaster they had right it's a big old like sharpshooter like big huge thing i was like yeah i'm gonna do the nerf thing i'm gonna come in there have high energy i'm gonna kill this audition it's gonna be great and i open the box and of course and the first rule they tell me is okay good you picked something no one else picked great um but you can't shoot it so i'm like oh okay that makes things a little difficult for a nerf review doesn't it so it was a really awkward review, and then like I mentioned, I said I'll take the Nerf blaster, and they're like, "Ooh, we like that you, you know, you didn't call it a gun, you called it a blaster." And so I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we're on the same page." And then <laughs> partially through the uh, the thing, I go to, like I'm taking it apart, taking it out of the box, talking about the you know it's for this ages, just kind of being me about it, and I start putting it together, and then I realize that some of the pieces aren't fitting right. And I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta keep the energy, I gotta keep this going, I can't cut. I just gotta keep moving. And so I'm like trying to like fake my way through this, and at the end I'm like, I can't even get the thing to go. I wouldn't have been able to shoot it anyways. And amidst all that, I called it a gun. I managed to call it a nerf gun after the whole blaster comment earlier. So I will forever remember that moment as the time I auditioned for Hasbro and called a nerf blaster a nerf gun after doing it correctly beforehand so antidote it's little side story aside today we're looking at pose blaster and pose head is missing there's no pose head on this package i got it on clearance this came out 20 what year is it 2017 force friday so i'm really laughing about that nerf story it just cracks me up every time i think about it but this is poe dameron's blaster it's his little blaster pistol laser it does say pistol laser Lancado. it's got all these different <laughs> names on it on the outside let's take a look at the outside of the box like we normally do now i did mention i got it on clearance because it's old Okay, we've got our little Star Wars logo on the top. We've got our normal Last Jedi, Poe, Rey, and Finn with the crystals from the crystal caves of Crate. And then look, Poe's head just got like straight up ripped off. Again, I got this on clearance. Takes one AA battery. Poe Dameron, Blaster, Pistolaser, Lancador. Those are my uh, cool accents. I really like the look of that. I, especially I like that blue and red thing at the end of the barrel. I might actually end up custom painting this to match that kind of look, because I really like the look of that. Uh, it says, try me. Oh, let's try it. Let's do it. Ooh, makes cool noises and lights up. It is part of the Nerf Glow Strike line, ages 6 and up. Disney Hasbro. Wait, if it's ages 6 and up, I wonder what the warning's going to be. So, the side's got its normal little things here. I'm seeing something in Spanish. I don't know what that's all about. Bunch of normal warnings. Notice the box is a little beat up. And again, like I said, I got it on clearance. Normal price for this thing's like 20, 25 bucks, and I paid like seven. So, let's take a look at the back. Laser blast sounds, which we already heard. Tactical rail, which I love. Fires one dart. Blaster light effects, we did see those. Front load barrel. Ooh, is there a blurb? Poe Dameron, take aim with his dart firing blaster and battle the first order, just like the resistance squadron leader, Poe Dameron. And same thing in multiple languages. I will not be reading. Three darts is what it came with. In fact, mine did not. It was on clearance, and those darts were missing. I opened up a pack of these things, those little darts. I opened up a pack and put them in there just to make it look more complete. <gasps> what is that? I see zero to three <laughs> sad babies want you to shoot this blaster at their nose. Why? Why would you want that, sad babies? Is that why you're sad? <laughs> Maybe that's why they're sad. But Nerf, Disney, Hasbro, all the normal stuff. Again, battery. And there is a battery in here because it made the noise, right? It wouldn't make the noise if there wasn't a battery. So let's get let's just get this thing going. I need to get my uh, my blade of exact zero. Okay, okay, I got my blade ready. Let's see if I can cut this open without making too much of a mess. Oh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. This should be a really simple, straightforward knocked over Poe. And I got his X-wing out here too. Um, do you ever notice how I put toys that kind of have to do with what I'm working on? Just this little little something to pick up on. If you watch any of my older videos, there's always something relevant. All right. I've got three darts, very good. That's it, that's really, that's all that's in here. There's a paper. 
Yeah. Got it. Um, little instruction sheet, as I call them, instructions. Boom. It tells you how to load the dart. It says, load and fire. There's a box on me. Here's a box on me. It says, how to load and fire. Oh. You pull the little thing back. And that's how you shoot. You pull the, you'll cock this thing back. Like that. And then you shoot. Okay, very nice. I'll put darts in there in a second. Pull trigger to fire, and it makes a cool noise, and it lights up. Now, part of the whole... What did I call this? Glow strike? That light is actually a light inside the barrel. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that from there, but there's a light inside the barrel that basically makes these things glow in the dark. So they end up being like these little blasters. So if you fire at night, or you're outside playing in the dark, you can like see them glowing across. And it's really kind of a cool blaster effect. doesn't work so much during the day, but... It is. It's a. It's a neat little thing, and I. That, I like that they do that with this series. It really makes like the fact that it's Nerf and Star Wars something kind of special. So I, I do want to show you real quick what it looks like. So let me get that ready and just take a look. See, look. You can see inside the barrel, and I'm actually gonna. There's no dart in there, but I'm gonna shoot it, and the light's gonna turn off. See, the light turned off, and that blue glowing light is what makes these darts. Now, these are specific darts. I picked up an extra pack. Oop, I'm gonna lose them all. I'm gonna lose them all. I'm my blade. You stay. You be nice. Good. <laughs> so, these are the glow strike darts. I got these on clearance at Toys R Us. Look at all the cool death troopers. But, yeah, they're dart refills. They glow in the dark. They work with Cassians, with the Imperial Death Trooper. Any of the ones that have that light up thing. Mostly the Star Wars ones. Again, doesn't happen when you pull the trigger, but when I pull this little plunger back, if I can do it, there we go. The inside lights up. Very nice. And then when you shoot it, it goes away. So, I like this series. I think it's a really good... I don't know, it's fun. I, I love these. And now, I noticed the dart sits in there very snug. It's not loose. I can't just like do that and it'll fall out. It is a very snug and tight fit. For, not tight, but it, it, snug is the right word. It hugs it just right. So let's see. You think, I, you think I can get you guys at home? Uh, do you think I can do that? I'm, I'm going to try. Let's see. Gotcha. 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 First try. Pa -pa. So, I, it comes with three darts. That's not bad. Let's do another one. Let's see if I can hit my little viewfinder off to the side. If I break something, I'm going to be really upset. I got it. I nailed it. Okay, we'll, we'll do one more shot. One more shot. I'm going to try to get you guys one more time. Right in the center. Like, just be ready. Uh, maybe maybe get your shields ready. Oh, I missed. I, I just barely got around the edge. Either way, I like this thing. I think this thing is really cool. And you know what? I'm going to have to, like, test it out with the kids. And let's uh, let's put it through its paces. Let's do some real, some real playing with this thing. Now, some of you may know from my lightsaber videos, I recently was given a 3D printer by a company called GearBest. Shout out to them for hooking that up. I was able to print a 3D printed tactical rail, because it does have what's called a tactical rail on top, so you can put scopes and other Nerf accessories. It's like Nerf's version of little accessories. I was able to 3D print a GoPro holder. And does it not go nowhere? It kind of sits in there decently, so I can actually put my GoPro right on the top. Will it come off? Eh, it'll kind of, it's not the best, but it does sit decently. I like that, actually. I think that's really cool. So I can go around and get some cool footage of me shooting this thing at my kids. Maybe I should do that now. All right, guys, I need to know what you think. Do you like this thing? Do you want to give it a thumbs up? Do you want to give it a thumbs down? My personal opinion is thumbs up. So even at full price, even at the 20 or $25 maybe, um, when it was like brand new, I, I like it. I, I like the sounds. It sounds good. It sounds really good. It looks good. It's a decent blaster. I wish there was a little more I could do with the darts. Like, oh. 
it fires really hard really really hard actually there's a good distance on this thing it's this is good this is a good purchase i would suggest this and if you're the type of person to customize things like i am i would say paint it paint it yourself make it look cool it does have a little star wars logo on the outside so that's going to be a little weird when you paint but i would say this is worth customizing especially with the lights it, for me it gets a thumbs up i want to know your thoughts thumbs up thumbs down leave it down in the comments below what you like about it what you don't like about it because that's kind of what we do here we have a little community where it's not just my opinion i know it's called the dano channel but it's not just my opinion your guys opinion matters too which is why i ask you to share it down in the comments below if you don't like this for some reason let me know what what do you think is terrible about it and leave it a thumbs down that's totally fair to do that i like when you guys do that uh, but again, you have to leave your reason. You got to tell me why you don't like something. Or if you do like something, thumb it up. Thumb it way up and say, you know what? That's a cool blaster. It's got a good range. It feels right. It has a nice little thing in your hand. You know, it feels good in the hand. It's not too heavy, not too light. This is a good, good start for like a prop replica too. So that's that that's what i want to i want to know your thoughts i want to know your thoughts now guys if you haven't already done so do yourself a favor subscribe to the dano channel be part of the dano channel family and if you want to take it up another notch and you don't want to miss anything you got to use the force on that little bell that way you get a notification every time i put out a brand new video i'll be doing nerf hot wheels micro machines episode one figures i'm gonna shoot every time i say something there's so much i'm, I'm looking around at my room i'm like oh my goodness i have so much stuff to do videos on blade builders, lightsabers, ultra sabers, other toys, anything Star Wars. Jurassic Park is going to be hitting heavy in the next couple weeks. Just get ready. Prepare yourself. This channel is the channel that you want to make sure you're subscribed for. So, the people that have the notifications set, the ones that help out down in the community down below, that's what I call my sad baby squad. So if you want to join the sad baby squad, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got the notifications on. Hang out down in the comments below. Help people out. Answer their questions. A lot of people have really good questions. And sometimes I don't have the time to go get them. But that's where the squad pops in. You guys do your research. You know your stuff. And you help out down there. And that's a really, really cool thing. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So because I appreciate you guys, I want to feature you in my videos. Just like this. And if you want to be featured in one of my videos going forward, all you have to do is use hashtag SadBabySquad on Twitter or Instagram, or tag me, at DanoFlores, and uh, I'll be able to see your stuff, and I'll share it in videos just like I did then. And if you want to go even further, this is the part that I'm like really pushing for because I like seeing this. Every time I end a video, I end it by saying, may the Force have with you and goodbye forever. But I want you guys to say it. You, you want a good example? Here's a perfect example of how to end my videos. Greetings, Dental Channel family. This is Akio Nimbus 2000. May the Force have with you, question mark, and goodbye forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, subscribe. Join the Sad Baby Squad. Hit me up with your own clips, videos, whatever you guys are into, fan artwork. I also have shirts and stuff available for sale. Hit those little links down below if you're at all interested. And that's it. Go watch another vid.